Hello everyone, this is Kelder and I'm back to the Tales from the North. Our Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play, not Let's Play series. Our Crusader Kings 2 series. I'm gonna try to smuggle my army past the winter into Perm so I can take these. Maybe also this one. But at least these from uh, uh, their current owners. Because the uh, liberation of Finocric peoples cannot wait. <coughs> Transylvania has converted to Iconoclast. Okay. Witch Hunter of Transylvania. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Do you see any Hungarians anywhere? No, you don't. That's what I... The Hungarians al always end up dying out. If I don't get uh, involved. Uh, excessively involved, that is. With them, they tend to die. For some reason. <clears throat> well, I know the reason. The reason why they die is because they are nomadic, don't have tribal lands, and that's why when another tribe takes over, they uh, just disappear. Hang in. Can I get something? No. Mm. Let's send them here, there. Mm. It's almost 70 now. That's nice. Are there some temples around I could raid while I'm passing by? Oh yeah, no. No, they're not. Hmm, I'm not sure if they force convert. The place. At least the uh, heretics do, I think. Okay, where is my dude? Where is my court chaplain? Sarma. <coughs> uh, okay, yeah, so he is still uh, converting a province that hasn't been converted yet. That was my concern. And that is my new concern. <laughs> what is this? Okay, yeah. Need to send uh, the retinue back. And bring in the big levy guns. Levy guns. Well, it takes ages to march through this land. And it's annoying. Hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna send him there. So it is 9th of November when they arrive. So I'm gonna. Wait till the almost last minute to declare war. It it might backfire. But then again, why? Okay, yeah. I don't have any levies. Yeah, well that was a stupid mistake. I mean I have levies raised. Because they are going to cross a 
pesky rebellion of pesky infidels some pagans <laughs> can't even raid because the pagans yeah they don't good okay the Bjarmian uh, joined me in uh, crushing the pathetic pathetic bacons yeah. now let's lower those troops and levies are good for that though good for crushing rebels in uh, in Venezia because they <coughs> You can, uh, you only need to march them one way, and then you can get them back. You can get them back by disbanding them. So you only have one way to <coughs> that you need to go. And I hope it's enough that I conquer the place. It should be. It should be enough, and it is enough. Okay, that's Arctic and that's Arctic, so we need to wait for the snow to melt before we <coughs> get to business of war again. I have quite many nice uh, genius children two out of four that's a a good number decent number that is a decent number yeah do you have a extensive family no no you don't you neither maybe you uh, your uncle. He, mm, uh, fa -fa. Hmm. What are you? Heir to chiefdom of Holland. Well, yeah, sure. Sure, sure. Ugh. Psycho. Oh. Hmm. Now I found my. <laughs> now I found my landless. Uh, relatives I will give you this worthless piece of land in the east but uh, it will be followed by chiefdom uh, high chiefdom of Ural in the near future which means after the snow starts melting good time is May, April, May. Mm. Yes. April, May. Mm. I don't like this. I do not like this. How much? Where? Uh -huh. Okay, so I guess. Our conquest didn't uh, increase the threat too much. So let's move on to the next. While we, while we are at it. 28th of May. Okay, so Ural next. Yes. <coughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. I would like to end this campaign before the before the winter. We gained like ten threat, ten threat from our small conquest here. How much threat are we going to get now? Okay, uh, something like ten or something. There for the Jure claim. Who are you? Yeah, of Perm. Yeah. I will force you to vassalize yourself to me. 
my uh, vessel light. <clears throat> Let's wait till uh, June twentieth or something. That's enough. Close enough. Now let's declare war. Hmm. And this was the dude who had uh, taken the initi initiative to convert himself to my rightful uh, religion. Righteous religion. That's why he was able to keep his lands when all the other bacons lost theirs. Yeah. This is it's it's up to them if they want to prosper and uh, succeed in my footsteps not my footstep under my rule they can but they have to want to do it okay so how much uh, only lacking uh, county lands can can see Kantu, something, yeah. Only lacking Kanthi lands in the east. Of course, we are going to push for Merv also, uh, which is there. Because uh, it's our holy place uh, of our religion, and it will give us boost of 10 moral authority without the need to be at constant war yeah uh, pa, 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 pa. do you hold the holy site? no you don't yeah you get extra moral authority if you uh, your uh, head of religion keeps a holy site controls a holy site I think can I vassalize you? hmm that's a good question. No, you are a vassal of Caliph Ab Abdul uh, uh, something. Abdul something, yes. That's a. Uh, hmm. That's a. Uh, not so nice. How strong is even this Caliph? I bet he's. Uh, this one. Yeah. Abdul Gafur. 8,000, well, uh, 13, 14,000, maybe. I have a bit more. I am a bit stronger than, <laughs> than the <laughs> Caliph. Of course, my troops are tribal, but uh, three times the men. That must mean something. That should mean something, right? That should be beneficial. Has our uh, yes, our uh, culture has spread. Finish now there. Of course, uh, uh, here it uh, has uh, the our uh, common culture, our uh, uh, imperial, not imperial yet, but culture has replaced Estonian local customs there. And here, uh, Sami local customs. Here it has spread and uh, replaced the Norse um, culture. Uh, it's uh, spreading amongst the Nenetsians. <coughs> it's the promotion of common language and uh, our uh, cultural practices to create unity amongst the Fino Greek peoples. The benefit is they are less likely to revolt. E yes, they are less likely, likely. Oh, oh, nah. 
what they are, they are less, less uh, maybe I should stop yeah so they are less likely to revolt when they share the same culture although just being of same cultural group also gives a nice boost to the peacefulness of the people these ones just want to be rebelling all the time which is uh, not suitable for my uh, what's the word for my subordinates no subordinate is too personal for my uh, not peasants for my uh, I'm, I'm trying what would be a good word for my um, no that sounds well for my people let's say say it like that what is that you have a ruler and then you have uh, not followers for our follower is like a cult or something hmm um that's a, that's a question okay 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 uh -huh. yeah yeah uh -huh. yeah yeah so if i uh, take Yurev, I could take Moscow and uh, Narofominsk also quite easily. Vertichia should also fall before my might, like this. So I guess I'm gonna make the Campbell though. No, I'm not gonna make the Campbell, I'm going to raid them first after I'm dealt with the pesky rebels. In the north, in here, after dealing with the pesky rebels, I will raid Yurev and then, with the defenses swept aside, I will declare war and uh, commandeer their lands. Take the lands for my own. Yes. Right. Well, I guess that's gonna, gonna have to be done in the next episode. So, hope you liked it. Like the episode. It was more eventful than the last one, even though our threat is back to 95%. Still, we got three more provinces, which is good, 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 yes. <coughs> and what else did we do? Well, we got the religious authority up nicely. We have been crushing some religious rebels, so that's about it, see you next time, bye.